so I spent the night thinking about where I was going to place these and as you can see I placed them already um, these are actually on my wall right above my window over my bed so I was actually thinking about how am I going to place these somewhere without ruining them since they are paper and tape usually when you take tape off of a paper it rips it so I actually do scrapbook and I had a photo corner clear stick self type thing for scrapbooking which I used as you can see they just literally slide right in so you just slide it and you mark it to where you want it and that was it originally I was gonna place them in my closet where I have all my other Harry Potter stuff against this wall right here which I did and I'll put a picture in right now but I didn't like the way it looked here so I was like well maybe on top of my bed and here they are I kinda like the way they look goes along with the wands um, I'm gonna get down off of my bed and show the whole wall more or less so here is the wall the letters are up there and then we come back and you can see my bed I'm not gonna show you my whole bed because it is a mess and my dog is sleeping right there but yeah so that's what I did with the prop letters so, thanks for watching. So, here is my attempt to make a homemade movie prop from the Harry Potter movies. Um, as you saw in my other videos, Evil Tig was making the Harry Potter acceptance letters and the Gringotts letters and all that other stuff. So, I finally went again to the website he had posted up in his video where people have been posting the images and photoshop stuff that they've been making for movie props and I decided to do the easiest one at least for me because when I tried doing the acceptance envelope I totally failed so this is actually from the Goblet of Fire the it's supposed to be the parchment where you write the students write their names and this one is Florida of course um, I, it's a little bit bigger than what the actual movie one is, and it's on plain computer paper, and yeah, but I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. I mean, it's not a massive fail like the envelope that I tried, but this is pretty cool. I'm actually going to see what else I can try to make, and I'll probably have to buy more ink after this. And I'll probably have to go find some better parchment looking paper. So, this is a quick little video. Thanks for watching.